All right, here we go, guys. Saturday, August 17th. I got Bear next to me. What's up? The other people in the front are oblivious that they're even being filmed right now. It's cold, it's raining, it's windy. Original plan was Montauk. Uh, we might try the north side, but it's a really strong east wind. It's going to be really rough getting out there, even in a 32. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll find fish somewhere. All right, here we go, guys. And as you heard in that intro, uh, my buddy Bear, an old friend of mine and actually a godbrother to my my mate Spiro, who you see in the foreground, uh, Spiro set up this trip. Um, it was Bear, Alex, Sandy, Jesse, and David, uh, and their Uncle John. Let's not forget Uncle John. He was a trip. Uh, stay till the end for a little funny sequence with him. Um, the original plan, uh, you know, Spiro told me these guys were not – expert fishermen but they wanted a fluke fish they wanted to try montauk um but they had sea legs and you know that proved to not be the case it was a, a windy day it was not an ocean day but uh we decided to try montauk anyway we could fish the north side even when it's a little windy usually um but you'll see coming up it, it, it i believe we did one drift there and the two biggest dudes on the boat Bear and Alex, both guys over six feet tall, probably uh, 220 to 240. And yeah, they, they, <laughs> they did not last. Uh, they got really seasick. Uh, in fact, I believe at one point we had a synchronized vomiting. So uh, we turned around. We went about uh, 30 miles back the other way into Peconic Bay. And uh, we bottom fished. And we had a great time. These guys caught a lot of fish. You'll see at some point the cooler is full. They limited on weak fish. They had a ton of porgies, and the, the number of species caught was fantastic. They caught uh, dogfish, which, you know, for experienced anglers, you don't want those, but these guys loved it. Anybody who is not really an experienced fisherman and brings up a shark, it's kind of a cool thing. Um, uh, kingfish were caught, uh, bluefish were caught, uh, some small sea bass were caught, so a lot of species caught. And, you know, sometimes we fishermen who are active fishermen turn into fishermen snobs. Um, you know, we, we want to catch stripers, we want to catch big fluke, we want to catch blackfish. But a lot of times to novice fishermen, it's just catching fish that's fun. Hope you enjoy this video. I know it's a little different. As always, if you do like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like cotton like this, please hit that subscribe button. Whoa, okay. All right, nice and easy. Siga, siga. Okay. All right. Guys, bring up your line because you're going to get tangled um, in the back, not the front. Small net, Spiro. Nice and easy. Just keep reeling. Yeah, yeah, keep reeling. Right. Nice and steady. I mean, we're fighting the current, too. I love the way you can talk well what kind of fish it is. Well, it felt like a fluke because I felt the vibration. I don't see it now. It might be a big sea bass. But when I initially hooked it, it had that dead weight. Fluke has dead weight because it's a big flat body. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just nice and easy. Nice, steady like you're doing. Yeah, it's a fluke. Nice. Yeah. No. Two two no. It's a little small. The car it makes it feel so much bigger. And he's fat though. Look at look, he's feeding. Look at that. He's got something here. Look at that. He's got a fish in there. It's not a keeper. Oh. Ouch. Is that its mouth? Yeah. Get that ball, yeah. gonna break it, is it? No. I don't know about that guy. Giving up. Okay. Oh, and yeah, that was Bear and Alex in the back after I helped their Uncle John, uh, uh, you know, catch that and release that short fluke. And yeah, you saw the damage had already been done. They'd already been done chumming the ocean. I, I'm telling you, it was synchronized. Uh, we do not have that on film, or we're not showing that on film. But uh, the, the video you're seeing now is the 30 mile ride back into Peconic Bay. Um, and uh, it was a good move. We, we caught a lot of fish, and we'll show some highlights of that, including um, a, a full limit of weak fish, which was a lot of fun and one of the best tasting fish in the ocean.
I feel that looks fluky, dude. Ah, you dropped it? No, it's still on. All right, nice and slow. You've been here before. It's a fluke. Oh, it's a big corgi. All right, we got some food for the group. Make sure. Keep the, keep the tension. Don't give it any slack. Pass it back here. Just swing them right to me. Oh, weak fish. Weak fish. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> not a keeper anyway. He's not a keeper. He's not a keeper. Uh, so this is a weak fish. It's a sea trout. That's what it looks like. Woo. So that's edible as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, weak fish tastes awesome. Yeah, but they got to be 16 inches. So the beautiful fish, though. Look at the colors. Yeah. And look at the look at the fang on him, too. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Bravo, John. Roll the camera, man. Roll the I got camera. it, I think. Oh, bring that in, bring that in. That's a keeper. We'll yeah, measure, yeah. but that might be a keeper. Nice the and weak, easy. Man. Bravo. The weak fish. Oh, he's got a big weak. Redemption. Bring it here. Redemption. No, no, no. It's not redemption yet. You got to get him in. <laughs> the weak fish, um, if you pull him out of the water, they'll... Wow, okay. Look, this is why they're called weak fish. Look at his mouth. It's very weak. <laughs> That's why they call him weak fish. Look how it ripped, ripped its mouth. Yeah, so we got to measure these guys. Yeah, well, hold on. Spiro, get that off the hook. This one, I think, is going to pass. So this is a trout. This is a saltwater trout. It's got to be 16 inches with the mouth closed. We got a keeper here. 16, almost 16 and a half. my brother. That one might be a little short. It might be, yeah. Right there? 14? Yeah, 14. 14. Right. And we're allowed one per person on those. Good job, John. Woo. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Nice. That was such a good hook set. Nice and smooth. Don't slack it. Just don't, don't jerk it up and down. Just keep bringing it. Uh, uh, did you just grunt? Oh, all right, hold on, hold on. No, all right, just bring him here, bring him here, bring him here, bring him here. He's hooked good, he's hooked good. Ooh. Good job. He's hooked good, this guy. He wasn't going anywhere. That's a little teeth in the front, though. Oh, I'm 17 only. Oh, still a keeper. Oh. You're on? Porgy? Good one. Best Porgy of the day. Think so? Yeah. Just going by the... Well, I don't know the rod at all. I think it's a good one. Well, it's probably a keeper. Definitely a keeper. I'm just going by the movement. You gotta lose them like that. Told you, best one of the day. God damn. <laughs> this is what we want. Yeah. All right, throw everything else out. <laughs> Start again. I said, let's turn over. Oh. Nice and smooth. This is uh this is a weak fish. It's a big one, I tell you. Oh, it's a kingfish. It's not a weak fish, it's a kingfish. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. my God. Does that look familiar? I know what that is. Yeah, you cook it? You are. Yeah, you yeah. want it? Yeah, on the grill. You want it? I don't want it. Yeah. But that it then? I don't know, yeah. man. All right. You want it? You want it? Is it legal? Yeah. Match it up next to the other kingfish. Oh, 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 bring it in, bring it in. Oh, two blue fish. Okay, be Yeah. Snappers. Wow, that thing's cool. Watch these guys, you know, they they have very sharp teeth. Are we keeping these? You got a fish on, Spiro. They're like disgusting ones, right? Yeah, I, I wouldn't eat them, but if Spiro wants some. Yeah. Oh, the cocktail blues, yeah. You want them? Who? Oh, they don't want them? No. Oh, I thought they wanted them. You guys want you guys want bluefish? They're disgusting. Yeah, they are disgusting. Throw them back in. 
I saw the same one to the blue. Oh, We gotta get John hooked up. Oh! Oh, he won the pool. John, I keep coming to put you, put bait on for you. Yeah, I know. Gosh, Nipsey got in the way. What's that now? Weak fish. There's the pool, now. All right, Jal, here, just hold this, and I'll get you when I come back. This this guy's got little meat on him, too. Oh. Definitely a keeper. This guy might be 18. Oh, no. Uh, there. Zero there. 17. Still a keeper. Wait, why do you have two rods like that? Because she's a honey badger. <laughs> no, let her reel it up. Bro, I didn't know which one she was reeling it. Good fish? Ah, no. Oh, weak fish. It's a weak fish. It's a weak or a shark. Oh, or a porgy. <laughs> At least I didn't say kingfish. Yeah. I'm going to hand this to you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You got to just. Nice and smooth, smooth. You're doing a great job, Sandy. Oh, hold on, just go slower. No, I want the lead in case it's a week. If it's a week, it's big. Oh, no, no, don't do that. I got it. I got it. And hopefully you get the idea. Uh, here's some more shots that'll be coming up of weak fish and sharks and porgies and uh, really a, a wide variety of species caught. And I know I've preached this before in, in other videos, but when you're not dealing with experienced anglers, you don't need to get them on the fluke, the striped bass, the, the trophy fish that most experienced anglers go for. They will have just as much fun catching edible fish or any fish really um as we would catching big uh big fluke and you know maybe i wouldn't get as much get as much joy out of uh, catching porgies all day but these guys certainly did and they had a great time uh, and look forward to having them back next year um and as i promised we'll end it with a a, a funny clip of uncle john who thought he had a fish on and uh he didn't but he had a really good sense of humor about it I don't think he's on. It seems that way, doesn't it? No. I, see, I, tell you, my, my, I, I had a phantom. Uh, phantom. Put your imaginary frying pan over your imaginary flame. And imaginary spices. Set it to uh, medium high. Put in some imaginary butter in the pan. Let it saute in there for three or four imaginary minutes. Don't forget the imaginary lemon. Yeah. That's at the end. Come on. <laughs>